So it's telling students to do two things. So the, they have to, number one, read the sentence, and then they have to read the directions that follow. So again, this is what I'm talking about with students understanding how to, uh, under, how to understand the directions and making um, sense of the multi-steps. Okay, passage two. Again, very similar format. You have the passage, you have the title, you have the author, and you have to scroll to get to the text, the entire text. Then it says, the question has two parts. First answer part A, then answer part B. So again, and then you have the word best, and, and this is in bold. So some of our students, when they're reading, they, they're not comprehend. They might look at the answer and say, yes, birds should only um, uh, nest in trees. Yep, yes, that's, that's accurate. But they need to understand the difference between the best uh, that describes the lesson and uh, from everything else. So just more um, things for students to understand. And, uh, and then part B. They have, students have to remember that this is still part of the same passage. And then continuing, we have um, another passage. Okay, a lot of dialogue. And then the format of the question or the this portion is it different. Okay, so it, it states... Arrange the events from the passage in the order in which they happen. Choose the sentences to drag them uh, to drag them into the correct locations. So again, all this is is chronological order of the story. What happened? So so our students need to know number one the uh, comprehension skills that are needed to understand and refer back to the sequence order of what had occurred. Um, but in addition to that, they need to understand how to drag, so this is a technology skill, how to drag, how to move, and then how to uh, understand that whatever is on top is going to be the beginning and whatever is at the bottom will be the end of the story. So, you know, these are important technology skills our students need to know. Okay, continuing, this is another sample. Okay, maybe the same passages, but again, the questions are different. It's asking for um, the meaning of a word. What is What does it most likely mean? So again, most likely, uh, do our students know what that is? And then looking at the word jumble, understanding how to use context clues to uh, figure out what that means. Okay, um, continuing, we have more questions to the passage. This time they're asking why is including dialogue important to understand the passage? Pick three choices. So students have to decipher, they have to read all this and decipher between all of them and select three. If one student selects one and move and continues, there isn't any indication that they need to uh, select three. So having students understand the question stems is vital to having them actually perform. So you're seeing we need the, uh, the uh, Reading skills are needed, comprehension skills, literacy skills are needed, but then there's various other elements that the students